visitors. Let me get my card. Now I'm getting my card. Please stand by a few moments as the cathode rings scan you. You are now ready to continue. Please stand by as your shuttle arrives. I appreciate it. All right, on the shuttle. On the way up, face the glass wall and have one inside. <gasps> look at the space shuttle. Wow, look at, look at what. Oh, look at Look at the star, this. Look at the stars. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look. Wow. Wow. Hey.
Thank you. There's nothing here for you. You are now entering Sector 1, Level B. The waste collection and hygiene system can be found there. Thank you, Tattoo. You're welcome. The bathrooms are straight ahead. Wow. You are now entering Sector 1, Level B. Oh, they got rid of Scotty. Robot controls. You got rid of all the good stuff. Galaxy far, far away. Millions knew Tommy Bartlett as the host of his popular radio and TV show, Welcome Travelers. That show ran for over three decades, beginning in the 1930s. Always the master showman, he has entertained audiences in the Wisconsin Dells since 1953 at his legendary Ski, Sky, and Stage show. Tommy received numerous awards in recognition of his showmanship 
and was inducted into the Water Ski Hall of Fame in 1993. <laughs> Sadly, Tommy died in 1998 at the age of 84. However, he has left a legacy of Planet Water. Oh boy, look at this. Benny's gonna have fun here. <laughs> Gene, push the button. Oh boy. Look at it. Good boy, Benny. Go on. Here, push that button. Push the button. Testing one, two, three.
Here, keep him right there. Keep, keep Gene right there. Gene.
You might like this one. Game. expandable space station. The unit you are standing in is the 43-foot command core that housed the operations and living quarters of the craft. All supplies and life support systems were located here in the command core module, providing oxygen, removing carbon dioxide, regulating water supplies, maintaining power, and controlling heating and cooling the craft. Normally, near maintained a three-person crew, but as many as six live and work in orbit. 250 miles this above the Earth. Long. The blue canisters on the wall are oxygen generators. Lithium perchloric cartridges, when burned in the generators, produce 600 liters of oxygen, enough for one person for one day. Here is the dining table. It had many unique features you won't find at your dining table at home. Built into the top are special food walls. There are also tray compartments used to hold food containers and dining utensils. Each container holds a three-day supply of food for one person. Here are the sleeping compartments. The accommodations were not spacious, but there was a great view from the private viewport. In addition to the viewport, the state room had ventilation controls, a mirror, electrical outlets, and storage for books and other personal items. Because Mir is in a weightless environment, sleeping bags were attached to the wall to avoid floating around the craft. Many cosmonauts claim working in space is like lying in bed all day. Thus, the body becomes weak from lack of use. To counteract this, cosmonauts exercise their muscles as part of their daily routine. 
on board the Mir, an exercise bike was attached to the ceiling, and a treadmill on the floor. This was the original toilet facility on the Mir. It was updated in 1989 when the Kaban 2 module was added. At that time, this area of Mir became used for storage. Mir circled the globe for over 15 years until its re-entry on March 22, 2001, but it left us a lasting legacy. The experience gained aboard Mir provided the building blocks of the creation of the International Space Station, a collaboration of American, Russian, Canadian, and several other nations all working together in the exploration of space. Well, that ends our brief journey. If you have any additional questions, please ask one of our Mir Space Station crew. They'll be happy to assist you.